Bonjour! My name is Abomination, and welcome back to the FBL. This is week six. This is week six against Arts. <clears throat> we won last week, putting us at freaking 5 0, oh, so we are locked in the playoffs. So, because of that, We didn't. Ex we didn't. We don't have the most amazing amount of uh, prep time, but you know what? I still. It's not. Not taking anything away. And we already exchanged guys, so he can have it on his layout. And so the Dunsparce that I'm seeing right in front of me is not. It was a surprise five minutes ago. <clears throat> but for their lead, uh, I was thinking like Garchomp is a fine lead. They don't lead Weezing, like, it's either going to be Garchomp or Dunsparce, or I guess Necrozma. Uh, and against those, the Chevalier is not a bad choice. If it's Dunsparce, I'm fine to go and attack with it. Uh, I think I'm going to predict a... <clears throat> Garchomp lead? Do I straight up do that? Well, I'm gonna need Chevalier. I'm gonna try to predict the Garchomp lead. It seems to make somewhat some sense to me. Or it's gonna be Dunsparce. Uh, Necrozma's also fine, uh, but I'm not gonna U-turn on it just in case it wants to be weakness policy. Right? For Necrozma? Nice picture. Looks pretty cool. Hitmonchan's their lead. Uh, this is fine as well. This is actually really good. Hitmonchan is their lead. So there's no way they one-shot us. We are going to U-turn 100% here. Not what I expected. This is their one and only Terra Captain this week. So they could hit us really hard with something. Uh, but we U turn. That's what's gonna happen. And they Terrasalize right off the gate. A banded attack here? I mean, they're gonna go electric. They do. They could have Thunder Punch, but. And we are not physically defensive. And this also beats Talk Specs, so this is pretty good, right? For them. Yeah, we're not dead. Uh, we do not get paralyzed. You turn this a little bit more because they don't resist it anymore. But that was annoying, but that's okay. Uh, we're going to go into Entei then, fire off a an eruption here. But we're going to wait a little bit because I don't want them to think that we are like very like comfortable doing this. Sensa Cinta is also an option, but Entei is a better one. We can roost later on against in front of something like Dunsparce. So now we go into Entei. I just wanted to wait a little bit. <coughs> and they don't have Rotom. So this Specs Modest Eruption should roast pretty much anything on their team. Unless the Arcanine is Flash Fire. But I don't think it will be. If it is, then good on them. I'm hoping it's just Intimidate. Come on, Intimidate. Intimidate me. Yeah, it's Intimidate. That's it's not going to lower our attack, and this is still going to... Big damage to the Arcanine right there. Our canine right there. We could just push that again, why not? It's not a bad play, I don't mind it at all. Extreme speed's not gonna do too much to us and we could outspeed this. Let's do that again. They are switching out again. What do they even have to take this hit though? Dunsparce? I'm not totally convinced you can, although may let's see. Yes. 
No, you cannot. Let's push the eruption again. Destroy this Dunsparce! Dunsparce is down. Beautiful. Nice work, Entei. It's apparently my Entei cry. Doesn't sound anything like it. But I can't sound like the, its cry. <clears throat> it makes a weird sound. I'm not even going to try. That rhymes. Garchomp shows up. Now that we've lost our... Well, we didn't lose Corviknight, but now that it's very injured, this is... Uh, Definitely a situation that's much worse, right? But, um... So they could feel comfortable to click a Earthquake, but Shen Sencha Sinta is extremely physically defensive. I think I'm just gonna go into her. Mm -hmm. Garchomp I can make the sound for. Mm -hmm. Uh, sword stance. Okay. I think that's fine. I think this is fine. I, I, again, we are physically defensive. Uh, if they have poison jab, I'm not sure if they kill us in one shot. We are, like, very physically defensive. Let's find out. See what you got, Garchomp. Hit me. Earthquake. Nuh-uh. <laughs> Almost kills the Garchomp in one shot. If it was Poison Jab, 100% would have killed me right away. The bad news about this is that we might have to extreme speed this bad boy, which means we're gonna have to take some uh, chip from the from the, uh, the what the hell is it called? Rough skin. Now, <clears throat> do we let Senshasinta die, or do we let? Chevalier go down. I'm I think Chevalier is a better option to let die. They don't sword dance again, and if they do, it doesn't matter. I'm, I'm gonna protect first. I'm gonna protect first. I'm gonna protect first. As they go for an earthquake, that's fine. <clears throat> Get some more leftovers, and then I'm gonna switch to Corviknight. Chevalier. They probably, like, you know, assuming, I'm just assuming they earthquake again. Ooh, wait. We actually have some finessing to do. Because what is their coverage move for me here, right? What is their coverage move for me? If I can get in into it, but I don't want to do I'm not going to risk anything else here. I'm just going to Brave Bird. I'm assuming they have Fire Blast, but if they miss... Fire Fang is probably... yeah. Definitely, yeah, plus two, one take us So not Fire Blast. We went specially defensive, assuming that they run Fire Blast instead of what they just did. But nope, that's not the case. Now, do we want to extreme speed this? Yeah, I think we're going to extreme speed. The drop on Eruption's base power is okay. We've already done enough damage. I think I want to extreme speed. Tropagos has the wise glasses. They know we're specs though, which means they know we're gonna have to lock into extreme speed, which is okay actually. Which is okay because um Necrozma won't be able to do its stuff. Excuse me. Uh, with Dragon Tail, with uh, setting up. So we're gonna extreme speed to see if they make the right call here. Nope. Oh! Ah! 
Okay, that never crossed my mind. I never thought we were going to miss the KO there. That sucks. So now we have to go Travel Ghost, Rapid Spin, and then, you know, take a lot of unnecessary damage here. So we just lost Entei for nothing, essentially. And Entei was really good in this match, as you saw already. That was, a, dude, that was disgusting. If that was a roll, that was disgusting. So, we could avoid... Yeah, let's just avoid taking... What do we want to reveal? Flamethrower? Yeah. Let's just avoid taking the stuff. We're gonna scale shot. Please, oh, I was gonna say, like, dismiss. Okay, good. So it distorts... It distorts the type matchup for the entirety of it, and they are not loaded dice. <sighs> We're gonna kill this with the flamethrower, but that sucks. I'm really upset that we lost Dante because of that. Because we were uh, zero attack. There was no attack on that. Now, without the rapid spin boost, uh, there might be things that outspeed us, but I would rather have that 12% extra health than the plus one speed. For the rest of his team. Terra Starstorm is still beautiful in this match. <clears throat> and we do still have Guja for Necrozma. Uh, if it's like a setup set. Because Guja can Dragon Tail it away. And Arcanine has taken a lot of damage. Hitmonchan has not. And Hitmonchan is very good against us right now. Uh, a Drain Punch is going to be very bad. Very bad, right? Do we get rid of Senchacinta? And go into... Well, Toxapex at this point is not... Is not good. It's good against that Weezing, I will say that. And Arcanine. Actually, so Toxplex is really good here. I'm just afraid of a Drain Punch here, like mostly, mo for the for the most part. Let's just see how much this does. Here. A lot. It does a lot. But it's gonna heal a lot back. That's the. It pretty much ignored that Terra Star Storm, but we couldn't do anything about that. We couldn't do anything about that. Uh, we have no choice but to go into Gudra then, I guess. Or, like, no, we, we, we have no choice but to go into Gudra. That is, that's, that's the deal. Hmm. I wish I had Toxic instead of these spikes. But actually, no I don't. I'm gonna go, okay. This is gonna be weird. I'm gonna have to go into this, Toxic Spikes. Switch to Sensha Sen Sinta to sack it off, and then Dragon Tail this thing out with Teno Beta. That's what I'm gonna have to do. Unfortunately, that's just the case here. Uh. So I should have, I absolutely should have went into this with with Theropagos in front of us. Yeah, so we, we, we handle that okay. Oh. Oh. Okay. Okay, at least we get that off, but still, not, not, that's not what we wanted to see at all. We're Black Sludge. We're going to switch to Gudra straight up, actually. I changed my mind. No, we can't, actually, because we need that health. So we, we have to sack Senchacinta here and, uh... But, yeah, we have no choice but to do that. If we had Entei around for this thing, we could have roasted it very, you know, easily. That paralysis is going to come back to kill us eventually. We have to drag a tail now and, you know, start poisoning things and doing some damage. That's our only win con here. Okay. Ow. 
So the good news is, there goes Hitmonchan is off the field. Who's coming in? The Cosmo comes in. Um, and takes some damage off the Toxic Spikes. Now, because it has Ice Punch, that's very unfortunate. We're probably just dead to a size shock here. We are gonna have to drag him. There's a wheezing around. We have to. S uh, let's. Same base power, so we flamethrower, predicting the wheezing potentially. But no, they're probably just gonna take us out, right? No, we dragon pulse, because if we go with wheezing, we just go back to the toxic specs. Miss. Just miss. Just miss. Just miss. That doesn't. Okay. I, did, I couldn't tell if that was the animation or not. I didn't know if that was it. And it was. So I. We're dead. Yeah, you don't get the scream. Take the damage. Or would it not scream, but like cry. Um, at plus one, with, we're physically defensive, unless this thing's running Psyshock. I don't think we survive. Uh,. And even if we do, we are paralyzed and he'll slowly whittle away anyway. But yes, of course, the signature move! It's going to kill us instantly. Okay, well this was a very, very fast game. 17 minutes long is the recording that's including the intro. I'm gonna blame everything on Entei. Um, that ruined everything. That ruined everything, because that was our that was that was the answer to Hitmon Chan that we had. But uh, I had in no world did I think it was going to not take out the guard chomp. It was in red. Even though I was uh, no attack investment timid with minus attack nature. So attack one of the black sludge, max HP, a lot of defense. Bold nature, surf, haze, toxic spikes, recover. This is the most standard text of toxic effects you've ever seen, except for with Black Sludge instead of Rocky Helmet, which is honestly also pretty standard. Senjacinto with the leftovers, also very physically defensive. Hyper Voice, Psychic, Wish Protect. If we weren't this physically defensive, we'd die to Garchomp, but uh, we also did not take it out, which, again, very bad. Like, losing the shell on Terrapagos is bad and losing Entei as well. Tenobeta with the Assault Vest, uh, max HP, I'm oh, not max HP, very close. With a lot of special attack, we are minus, we are modest, even though we have a physical move, but it's Dragon Tails, so it's not gonna hurt that much. And Sap Sipper means we pretty much ignore, uh, Sinistra? That's what I think that's what his name is. It's also a Terra Captain, but it still doesn't do that much to us. And then Sludge Bomb and Flamethrower, we can't hit Weezing. Trap goes with the Wise Glasses, uh, Wise Glasses. We didn't want to be Life Orb, and with the Wise Glasses, I think we one-shot, um, we have a very high chance of one-shot Shen Pao with no HP with Flamethrower or Terra Star Storm. With Flamethrower does a little bit more, Ice Beam wastes the Garchomp. Act special that modest, we have a lot of speed. That speed means at plus one, we take out Shen. We are faster than Shen Pao. Uh, uh, faster than a adamant Shen Pao, I should say. That was uh, Tropagos, and then Entei with the specs. We went modest, which means we have a chance to be slower in Arcanine if it's if it's fast. Eruption in Scorching Sands means it's uh, Scorching Sands means we can hit the Arcanine. Eruption is very good against their team, as you saw, but yeah, with no attack investment, modest, we did not kill Garchomp. And that was devastating. That, that, that was, that, I blame everything on that. I have no idea what the role is, if it was a role at all, but as you see, we have investment in defense. Investment in defense and not the attack. My bad, but I blame him too, Entei, a little bit, maybe. 
Uh, protective pads and Chevalier means we can uh, we can U-turn on Garchomp and we'll Brave Bird it, and we do not get destroyed by, you know, the Rocky Helmet and the rough skin stuff, but we are very specially defensive with basic moves, Brave Bird moves. U-turn and defog! <clears throat> yeah, yeah, so fairly standard uh, Corviknight as well. The fancy things here was Entei. And I had a cool uh, chin Chinchino set, but I didn't bring it. I didn't bring it because I left me vulnerable to something else that I don't remember. I needed an answer to... Oh, I needed Corviknight for Garchomp, that's why. Turns out I didn't need it, but that's okay. But that's okay, it doesn't really matter. We, 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 we're still at the top spot, I think. So, yeah, good game to arts, and um, thank you for watching and listening. I'll be back for a week, the final week of the regular season, week seven. Uh, yeah. Smell you later.